Hello and welcome back to Zondercost. So uh, we're still cleaning up after that ambush. Uh, no time has passed, really. Although, I'll just make a, a slight alteration up here. Whoa, it's <laughs> kind of creepy. It's a line of dwarves all doing exactly what I asked them to do. But yeah, I'm just uh, dismantling a section of this wall here because I want to replace it with fortifications. Because, uh, like, basically shooting from up here, those uh, Marks Dwarves have their range kind of halved, I guess? I think that's how it works. And so, you know, standing in the corners here trying to shoot somebody at the entrance is going to be a bit difficult for them. Yeah, especially when they don't have any ammunition, right? <laughs> Wait for combat training. No, go and pick up some bolts. What are you doing? Individual combat drill. No, go pick up bolts. Right, I'm going to try taking them off training on the uh, barracks. Uh, what? No, on that squad. There we go. And uh, leave them, like hopefully this archery range being in the barracks is enough to actually make them train here. But I don't know. It just seems tricky to actually get them to uh, train or actually pick up bolts. I mean, they're right there. You know, it's part of their uniform. Uh, ammunition... Um, uh, 250 bolts. And that's for the whole squad, so with five of them that's uh, many each. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I did, the, the traders are leaving, I did trade with them. Basically bought uh, a bunch of booze and a bunch of logs. They didn't bring any cloth or leather either, which seems to be, uh, you know, somewhat rare of a trade good these days. It's really only the mountain home that's bringing them, which is unusual to say the least. Usually the elves bring loads of that, but alas, they have not been bringing them. Uh, and yeah, they also had a bunch of gold and platinum bars. I don't know why. They just brought, like, uh, four of each. So, yeah. I mean, I might as well make myself a, a platinum statue, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure what they would make it of. Hopefully something nice, but uh, I don't know if I have enough gold for one as well. I think they had more platinum than gold, but I'll give it a go. And they can go somewhere, I guess. And bye bye, merchants. They've embarked on their journey. <laughs> Why is this guy on the other side of the wall? I don't know. But yeah, I haven't seen him wandering up here, which is nice. Stop suspending things. What are you doing there? Are you. Right, you're the. Uh, you're the peasant who got drafted. Dabbling marks to off. Well, at least you're learning, so that's nice. Uh, right. And it looks like they've been picking up bolts. I see some gaps in the stockpile here. Let's have a look at your inventory. Have you got stuff? Right, you got a crossbow. Yeah, you got some bolts. Uh, you got some that I bought from the caravan. Because why not? So, uh, this guy is still looking pretty unhappy here. Which is not good. And some of your assigned clothing is a little bit tattered, so we're gonna have to look at that as well. So yeah, that's the one that lost their pets and their spouse simultaneously in the same ambush. Depressed by long patrol duty. Caught in a snowstorm. Uh yeah. Satisfying sparring session. Yeah, honestly, uh, right, you're miserable as well. What's up with you? Uh, irritated by the sun, really? Wow. And considering most of, well, about half of this fort is above ground, that's uh, quite strange. Talked with a sibling, dined in a blah blah blah, had a stuff, a uh, thing, admired a fine traction bench. Okay. Yeah, there's traction benches in the bedroom, so. Uh, I guess... What are you... What has actually made you unhappy, though? Just... Literally being irritated by the sun. She does not mind being outdoors, at least for a time. Huh. 
I guess cave adaptation creates some pretty uh, strong emotions in the dwarves, <laughs> because everything else there suggests that they would be happy. Anything in these bags? Oh, that's a really expensive bag. God damn. Okay. But no, they are empty. There are no dwarven children in them, so that's good. But uh, we're going to look at our guy's equipment. Right, it does reflect the damage there, so... Let's uh, see if I can find... Why are there a bunch of unclaimed steel helmets? Hmm, they might be somewhere. But uh, who's wearing a troll leather hood? Alright, oh, we've got all this goblin ice as well here. Copper helms and stuff like that. Alright, nobody seems to be wearing that, so let's start getting rid of these hoods. You probably don't need three hoods anyway, but... <laughs> uh, Wolverine leather head veil. Interesting. And gremlin leather hood? Yeah, you can have that. And... Cave spider silk hood. Silk is pretty good at deflecting uh, cutting damage, I think it is, or something like that, anyway. But I think we'll... Uh, shark leather headscarf. Yeah, these goblins bring some weird stuff. Okay. Well, uh, let's make some more hoods. Uh, we want 15. Yeah, I think so. That should do it, anyway. Uh, leather shoe, leather tunic. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, I'm not. I haven't really given them. Uh, your cloak's okay. That's pretty much like the only clothing I've given them is a leather cloak and a few hoods. Like I could give them some more, but I think I think they're encumbered enough, really. So, right. So what else is going on? Did I see some flashing red? Arrows there? No? No, it's probably just a question mark. Somebody wasn't sure what they were doing. Ah, uh, but yeah, if we can keep an eye on... No, they're not training there, are they? No, they've just buggered off. They're just like, oh, we don't have to train in this barracks anymore, so I've struck a pink garner. Ooh, where? Right, okay, I've started digging this. Right, we're gonna watch this like a hawk, because if this breaches the cavern, down here. Uh, yeah, we could have about three forgotten beasts just wandering into our well shaft. Which would not be fun. And uh, what is this stone, anyway? Is it just rock salt? Oh, that's granite. Oh, that's very good. Because, yeah, if all... I don't know. It depends. If I discover magma in a rather... Oh, I've got mica as well. I'm sure that's magma safe as well. But yeah, if I discover magma in a sort of convenient place, but uh, there we go, we didn't have enough gold to make a statue. Then I'll pump the magma up to somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I, I need to find it first to see where it is. If it's in a convenient place, then I'll pump it up to near the surface, but otherwise, you know, if it's just somewhere retarded that I'll never get to, hey, tetrahedrite. I knew there'd be some up here. So yeah, we can start uh, smelting some silver. Oh, he's going to uh, have, an, uh, have an eats now. A mace dwarf has grown attached to a shield. Haven't had anybody naming them yet, but... Um, uh, I feel like cheating and just using DF hack to mine the entire vein, but... <laughs> no, I think we'll just do the usual branch mining thing. Uh, yep. Not too many. Because, again, I don't want to hit the caverns. But it looks like we're above it here. That's what it seems like, anyway. That's all the way over there. But, yeah, we should... Uh, can I specifically say smelt it into s silver? I can't, can I? So I guess I'm going to end up with... A crap load of copper, which is unfortunate. And uh, I'm, I'm just not sure what to do with this uh, goblinite. Because uh, we have several iron helms from the goblins. Yeah, it's usually these ones. 
It's a barely designed image of a forgotten beast, and that's the symbol of the thief of walls of goblin civilization in zinc. Well, there you go. So, you know, they're very nicely decorated, but uh, we have no use for them, really. Especially the copper ones. Yeah, they've all got the same image on them. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. So, yeah, have you dumped everything here? Oh, yeah. So, rotten prepared spleen. Oh, dear. Right, so we can unforbid some of these uh, clothes because they are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Especially that cloak. Uh, leather gloves. Leather robe. Troll fur sock. Oh, not the loincloths. We don't want to wear any loincloths. Uh, yeah, there's some more up there as well. I see them. Trousers. Gloves. Uh, more trousers. And a cougar hair crown, which one of our migrants just randomly arrived in. It's, uh, it was this guy, I think, while he's practicing. You go, guy. But yeah, I believe it was this guy. Uh, maybe. I don't know. No, this is one that's grown up in the fort. In fact, that reminds me. I've just drafted them into the military without a second thought. But he's only 13 years old. Uh, he's very muscular, though. Very strong. Quick to tire and clumsy, though. Uh, large deficit of willpower. Yeah, not going to do too great. But we shall see. So I wonder where the rest of my Marks Dwarves are. You're not training in here, are you? No. So, I mean, that answers the question that the archery range will be uh, trained at if mm, two of these guys are not happy. What are you not happy about? Angered by long patrol duty. Forced to de endure the decay of a pet. Oh, boo-hoo. It's only a dog. Uh, lost a pet recently, caught in a snowstorm. Satisfying. Took joy in slaughter. How many kills do you have? Three. Ah, you killed that yak bull. And, uh, yeah, a couple of goblins and a giant weasel. Well done. Speaking of giant weasels, got a pest. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Oh, dear. It's on its way up, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Sorry, there's a forgotten beast somewhere. It's just loose in the fort. Where would it be? Unless you could just see it below the uh, stairwell. But... I don't know. He got interrupted by it. Well, it's not busted its way through the well just yet. Alright, I have to uh, go through the units and... Uninvited guest. Zoom to creature. Right, I think it was immediately below the well, because that's only, like, what, a few Z levels? So... <laughs> yeah, panic over. Where's the other two? There should be some other ones. Well, maybe they're just in an unknown location. Whew, that just, yeah, that shit me up there. That really did. I was... Absolutely very scared. So we might as well get these bits of ore now that we can see them. Yep. Yep. There we go. Alright. Okay. We're still not hitting the uh, caverns with this. It is be It is above the caverns, it looks like. So, um... We struck more tetrahedrites. Oh, it's over there. Alright, there's loads of it up here. That is cool. So, I don't know, this tunnel, it's found tetrahedrite, but I'm not really any the wiser as to which way is the best way to... Are you really hauling that stone all the way up there? God damn it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really any the wiser which way to go down through here. Because, I mean, I guess I could just assume that all this is solid rock and try and dig through it, but... No, I mean, there's a big lake there. And then... Yeah. 
I don't know. I may have to just bite the bullet and just start digging down and find out. But uh, I shall not do it in this episode. I shall plan ahead. I won't do it willy-nilly. I'll have some time to think about it. Right, so are these... Yeah, I figured some of them would be suspended. Can't trust them for a second. Don't know why they're suspended, but they are. It must have been because of the siege, or the ambush. Uh, yep. Let's get those. I'm taking a sweet time. It must be because they have to grab the ice from down there. I mean, before we were, you know, getting it from directly underneath, so it didn't take so long, but... Pink garnets. How much are they worth? 60. Okay, well, we're going to start cutting those, because we haven't had any gems for a while. Oh, we haven't had any encrusted stuff. We've got loads of those Banfire opal, Opals. Red Spinels. We have absolutely shitloads of these Banfire Opals. Oh my word. Okay, well, let's get those cuts. Uh, I don't think we have any of those. I did see one of those. Uh, I saw one of those. And... Where are the other ones? Okay, they haven't been stockpiled yet, so... They don't know that they exist, even though it's right in front of their face. Well, that's good, isn't it? So, I'm going to memorialize those Mark's Dwarves, I think. I have made the decision. Now, if I can only remember their name... Uh, well, I guess we're going to look in... Deceased. So, surely they would be at the bottom. No, that's the oldest ones. So we want these guys up here. Goblin crossbowmen. Are they not listed? Huh. Uh, well, that's the mechanic. Well, maybe it just... Uh, I think that's them there. Mistem and Eto. That probably is them. Because it both says Mark's Dwarf, so we shall memorialize those two because they gave their life for the fort and yeah I mean the only reason that we've memorialized these two is because we had no body for them but uh, we shall be memorializing all of the military dwarves that die I think it's the least we can do but uh, alright how is this how are these polar bears getting all uh, trained and semi-wild, that seems to be it. We run out of citrines. Uh, somebody's having a t party. We got millions of puppies everywhere. I'm gonna have to start getting rid of those. <laughs> How's our Baron doing anyway? Is he whining about something? Let's have a look. Ecstatic. Uh, admired his own window and his cabinets. Slept in a good bedroom. Upset by having a mandate ignored. Ate a good meal. Conducted a meeting in a poor setting. Really? He slept in a poor bedroom. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, I keep getting that with him. It's like, slept in a poor bedroom and a good bedroom. I'll make your mind up. So, I know that we have just millions of barrels. Yeah, there's a barrel actually there. But you're not putting that sheep liver in it. So where are you going? You're getting more ice. Alright, so I think I'm going to pause the recording for a while and let some stuff happen. Well, that's something, I guess. Olon uh, Degelrith, farmer, withdraws from society. Farmer? Really? How are you a farmer in this fort? Uh, where are we? Right, you're there. Okay, so this is a secretive mood, I guess. Uh, how are you a farmer? Competent hammer dwarf, dabbling brewer, cook. Right, you're one of the guys that I just gave all the sort of soap making duties to. Should probably draft some of those into the military, really. I mean, we've got five pretty uh, capable melee guys, but that's obviously not going to be enough for the future. So, stone, gems, more gems. And you've begun a construction. Well done. So, um, yeah, I mean, not much else has happened, but I suppose we can start 
building some more weapons traps down here. Because I do keep forgetting that we have a shitload of those uh, steel discs. Right, let's use... Yeah, I got a, well, copper crossbow. I don't know. That's actually pretty good. I might give it to someone at some point. Because uh, copper's a pretty decent weapon for melleeing things with, so... But yeah, using them in a trap, it kind of means they have to load it with ammunition. I don't trust my Mark Storms to put ammunition in their bloody quiver, so... And I think that this weapon corridor, weapon trap corridor, is probably overkill. I don't know. I feel like they're just going to get minced after, like, the first couple of these things, <laughs> Better safe than sorry, right? Yeah, and I watched something trap avoid just come down here and just waltz over all of them. Uh, how many have I got? Bloody hell. But yeah, I'll use all those crappy steel daggers and uh, silver daggers, I should say. Might as well. Uh, steel disc, and. Any. Right, we need to train our mechanics. They don't get a lot of work, to be honest. So, the mechanisms they make are not particularly great. Uh, copper flail? Yeah, let's throw that in there. That'd be a bit rubbish. Uh, yep. Right, what now? Copper bows? Why do I have bows? Those must be from goblins, but... Yeah, let's throw that scimitar in one of them. That's a, a foreign weapon. We don't want any of that. Da, 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 da. Silver Morning Star. Yeah, why not? That's probably quite a good weapon, but again, I think it's foreign, so. We want nice native dwarven weapons. So, how are we doing up here? Right, you have built those walls, so that is good. Uh, we're gonna start building. Some more of these rooms over here. Now, where is the f bottom? Uh, what? Ah, right, yeah. So that is where the door is, and I've built a floor over the top of the door, so that's alright, because we're just going to build a door over it again, so. Uh, how far across does this go? I see. Nope, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit tricky, trying to figure out where the floors are underneath. Aha! Alright, so we should be able to close this off now. And... Yeah, I'll check on that platinum statue in a minute, because I presume it got made. But yeah, let's have a look at that. Is it here? It should be. A platinum statue of dwarves. Well, it's worth 4,000 dwarf books, so that's pretty nice. Superiorly, superiorly designed image of dwarves and platinum. They're traveling and it relates to the foundation of Helm Floors. So yeah, that's quite nice, I suppose. It's better than, you know, having it be a statue of a yak or something. Which uh, seems to invariably happen. Uh, right. <clears throat> so, that gem cutter, you are... Cutting the millions of banfire opals. Well, since I know we have so many of those, I'm going to put encrusted furniture on repeat there. And hopefully you pick something rather sensible. Oh, that's a lot of blocks there. What was that? Marble blocks? Holy crap. Okay, that is a lot of blocks. Right, we got some doors. I don't know if those would get encrusted. Well, they're right there. So, holy crap, I could probably stop making these, but... <laughs> that's a lot of blocks. But yeah, I want them to make some tables and stuff. So you can make a bunch of thrones. And you can make a bunch of tables. And hopefully my gem setter is quite sensible and uh, encrusts those, but if not, then whatever. You've created a rock sold ring. Wow. Let's have a look. Romantic Knight. The Strifeful Zephyr. It's worth 50,000. Encrusted with rock salt, cabochons, table cut red spindles. 
And it's got an image of two blazing suns. Well, that's good for the suns. So, uh, yeah, that... Uh, well... I'll just tell that to make bone bolts. I don't think we have... Ooh. Interrupted by Forgotten Beast. Yeah, every time they come down here, they see a Forgotten Beast at the bottom of the stairs. Where is it? Should be here. Uh, <laughs> no units nearby. Okay. Maybe it's submerged itself? Yeah, there it is. Well, I guess I can swim then. But it can't fly, so... <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of hanging around at the bottom of the stairs, like... I, I, if only I could just reach a little bit higher. Interrupted by Forgotten Beast. Uh, yeah, this is becoming a bit of a problem. They're trying to... Did you just drop the bin as well? Oh, come on now. That, that, my gem set needs that. Don't drop it. But... There's no way I can put a floor over there to to uh, stop them from freaking out because the well needs to be able to get through it so huh right so we don't have any bones that's a shame uh, I guess we'll have to uh, butcher some kittens but no let's uh, let's have a look at our ammunition stockpile I mean we have 826 and you would think that would be enough, but we've got some goblin bone bolts. Awesome. That is quite cool. Uh, I hope that those... Alright, let's get rid of those. Dump those. Uh, just melt these arrows. I don't know what I would do with the copper, but... Yeah, the iron and the silver at least will be useful. Whoa. All those... Yeah. So, I mean, we got plenty of bolts. I don't know where any of my Marks Dwarves are now, though. Because they all just wander off. So, I mean, if I set them to train in this barracks, they kind of use the archery range. But then they also train their uh, melee skill and forget to pick up bolts. So, can I find them in here somewhere? Marks Dwarf. Organized combat training. Go to archery practice. Very good. So uh, let's try this one. No, this one. Soldier, no activity. Zoom to creature. Well, let's. Uh, well, your skills are a bit rusty, but never mind. Right, you have a quiver full of bolts at least, so whatever. <laughs> have you encrusted anything? Yeah, even crusted a mechanism. An image of short swords. Very good. Well, I guess we'll uh, probably use that in something. I don't know. Right, see so how are you getting on up here? Uh, we want a door. Right, we can't build it yet. Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, I think things are coming along now. We're still just waiting for a siege. I don't know how the fort's going to handle a siege. Because we don't need to come outside for much. I mean, we're coming outside quite a lot to collect ice, but if we really wanted to, we could uh, collect that outside. Or inside. We could just dig down from here quite easily. Uh, but yeah, uh, we need to come outside for something or something. Ah, polar bears have got on the training. Yeah, I haven't seen any polar bears for a while. I'm a little bit upset about that. But I'm going to keep trying to provoke the elves into war. Because I want them to bring their interesting war beasts with them. So that we can capture them and breed them and train them. And that'll be awesome. But yeah, we're just taking along at the moment. Still trying to get this uh, top level built. Or the top level if I can't be bothered building anything above it. Which may not be the case. Depends how long we last, really. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'll wrap the episode up there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.